it's not just to be able to raise another banner. Is this where you want to be in terms of being consistent year to year to year, being able to raise some banners? And what I guess you said before you measure yourself on is the ability to win some conference championships. Just talk about that feeling. Yeah, the consistency is, I think, what every coach is, is trying to establish with his program, that you're, you're continually at the top of your league, you're continually, um, you know, if you're at the top of a league like this, you, you sh you're either you're in the uh, NCAA tournament, and that's where you want to be. And if you can throw some championships in, uh, that's even better. So knowing how we, we love to be champions here at the University of Michigan, uh, we're really proud of, of two out of three, what could have been three out of three. So, but uh, maintaining that, there's uh, 13 other teams in this league that are trying to change that every day as well. Kind of going in that same direction with development. How, I mean, telling these guys, the freshmen, you know, first, getting their first taste of college basketball, how is it just to kind of temper them and make sure that they're focused, maybe not, you mentioned the jitters a little bit. <coughs> Get, getting them into well, the well you hope your you hope your practice situation is has enough adversity in it that this is just another form of distraction and that they once they go into the game this is they they, they haven't been here before but they've been in something like this before when we have the time clock kick uh, ticking and they got to do so, so many drills or when we're playing the loud music and things like that you just you hope you've prepared them the best you can. But like I said, sometimes it's a team thing where they can bond together quickly through communication. Other times it's individual. There's just an individual that will just tune everything out and doesn't either is very successful or unsuccessful because he, he he's not in the moment. He's somewhere else. And the quickly followed up. How, in your view, how quickly have these guys got it? The youngsters. It's varying degrees all over the place and some of them there's a process that we go through it's a tremendous journey it's the one that I love the most but the early parts of the journey aren't aren't fun aren't fun because there's a, there's there's the, uh, the the adversity the mistakes that you go through that you learn from but the mistakes aren't fun but they're the only way to get better really you've said that you'd like to be further along in installation of system and offense mm -hmm. and things like that how difficult is that to do once mm -hmm. you're actually in the season. It is, and based right now where we have, I don't think we have more than a three, two or three days in between practice, maybe one time until exams. So we're going to go now. So, you know, we spend an awful lot of time on, on the most basic fundamentals of balance and, and shooting and things like that. So it's, it would just, you chop away and you checklist, I have this checklist that's enormous. Okay, we're, we're down to this many things to do and now, you, now we're all, now we let's say you had 50 things, believe it or not, and now it's 45, and now it's 40, and, but now you go back and they forgot back that was before. So it just continues on. But we we pride ourselves in trying to while we get ready for another opponent, really improve those areas before we worry about the next opponent. To compare and contrast, like how much further along would you have been in installation at this point player like, versus now? Yeah, probably 20 to 30 percent more. I would think. It reminds me a lot of um, uh, four years ago when, when Darius, uh, Darius Morris was a sophomore, Tim was a freshman, Jordan, John, Blake McClymans, Stu and Zach were juniors. I don't know that we had a senior on that team. And uh, so it, that, it reminds me a lot of that guy. Is this the hardest, I guess, installation transition it's been? You said eight guys, basically. Is this the hardest you've ever like, had? I think it's I, the only reason I think that it's been very difficult. I can't compare them. Is that Last year what was was just we, even though we lost him and Trey, and those bad, I don't think it impacted me the value at the time of the five seniors yeah. that left, that were there when those freshmen came in, and now we've know that's the big thing that we've noticed that, that we're getting we're getting better, but it is slower than that everybody hopes. So we just keep working at it, keep working at it, and um, in time we'll get there. But it's not going to be. It's not going to be like that.